again. And he was one of the main factors, right? He made a lot of space in the mid game, especially. Mm -hmm. So much space here. However, I will say, Witty's early game definitely was questionable when it came down to the gold side of the map. I think that even Aaron Shiki was probably looking at him and was like, hey, come on, don't make this lane harder than it already is. <laughs> I've already dealt with him. I have a winning matchup. Like, you don't need to spice things up anymore. And we saw that be reflected into how fast Skylar was also getting the item power spikes, mm -hmm. right? He, he was fat. Look, he's at 411 at this point. So, I mean, the one time that he died, it was a triple kill. A triple kill for Aaron Shiki. So, I, I think that it really is boiling down to execution. At the same time, the draft from RRQ's side gave them a very narrow win condition unless they outperform their opponents. Really shows how, again, stable Team Liquid can be if Witty has the right tools. Here, this is the play, that last sequence. He opened things up alongside Aaron Cheeky. Yeah, I mean, without the flicker even, oh, he has, the, the flicker is still on cooldown. That is where the collapse. Somehow a deja vu of game five, that same bush that uh -oh. our kill uh, made the play. It, 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 it's, it's hard to say, right? Because again, I think there's been a lot of conditioning that has been going into this game, whether it's from draft or even the plays. But even now, with movements across the map, I think a lot of the team members are being very conscious about, hey, I'm not going to rotate this way two times in a row. You can see how paranoid both sides are. And I think that Rin's under the pressure right now. He's starting to look like a diamond as long as he picks up that fire miss. So far, I'm hoping, especially as a Calvary fan, that he's going to underperform in this next game because based off of, <laughs> honestly, based off of where the drafts have been going, blue side has been winning consistently. So therefore, RRQ should te technically take that final game. You know what? I feel like it's getting quite unfair for RRQ here on the panel. I think we need another Arashi on the on the panel, maybe. <laughs> I can be a kingdom. I can be a kingdom for the, yeah. two seconds. All right. He dragged this game out. But give it up for the MVP here, Windy on his Khalid. Presented to you by the official tournament smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. Witty again. I mean, when he's given the hero that he is comfortable, i.e. not Tigreal, yeah, Witty performs, man. 448.